Y'all too dang tall in this household. You gotta do this for about 30 seconds. So what, two two left now out of 18? Yeah. 17 or 18, I'm not sure how many. Uh, you'll find out when they're in this stew pot. I don't care, one ain't gonna make a difference. Dad, we might go get those uh, old steel units. Will you kill before winter? Um, all but there's about uh, 10 or 12 anims. We're going to keep those. And then we've got four in the garage. There's two in front of and they're not grown yet. They're not laying. So are you going to keep those over winter? Yeah. Don't okay. Why keep the bantams? Because I like the little bitty eggs and they're cute and they all have names. <laughs> <laughs> the big chickens don't. And most of them look the same, but my bantams are all different looking and they all have names. And they're, they're just kind of got personality. You get the head, I'll get the feet. Get the feathers first. But, uh, yeah, and some of our bantams are old, too, and not really laying, but they'll still sit on the eggs. So they kind of earn their feet that way. And they just amuse me, so sometimes it's worth it. Next year we'll I have loved more bantams. ducks, and I want to... I want to eat a duck. We got um, Muscovies are supposed to taste like beef or similar. So, um, but I've got two drakes and three hens, and I don't want to kill off one of my drakes in case something happens to the other one. Then I won't have one. Right. So we'll wait till spring and we'll try it on some of the ducklings. And if it sucks, we'll just keep them for eggs because I really like ducks. They just make me happy. They're fun to have around. Oh, they're so funny when they get in the pool. Once you get the pool cleaned out. Um, and reef because we don't have a pond, so it's just a pool. And they get washed out every other day, and new water. And they just they get in there, splash around, and flap, and they're so happy, and it just cracks me up. It's worth it. Cheap entertainment. <laughs> people, and you get city it. people don't understand country entertainment. They do not. Uh, I, I I used to have three bantams when I was little, and it's almost like we played tag with the Bantams, because they'd chase me, then I'd chase them, then they'd chase me, and I'd, ch and hours. Our oldie ones, we have one that's, well, she's molting, and she's naked on her back. She looks ridiculous, and she's old, so her name is Granny Fluff, because she looks like a little old grandma with a black dress. All you need is a string of pearls. She's got feathers down her feet. She's a coach in Bantam, <laughs> and the kids named her Granny Fluff, and I think she's four or five years old. But she comes, she'll follow you around. I mean, she's very friendly. She likes you to pick her up. And um, it's just a weird thing, but, you know. And then we have George, the old blind rooster. Right. He's also a speckled Sussex. We're going to do those three hens, I think. And, um, but he's always been super friendly, and he can't see anymore. So he run and he's not in the chicken yard because they'll beat him up. Right, right, because he's the one that's running... He's running around the yard, but he he hears your voice. He will run across the yard, and you're keeping him it. through the winter. If he survives, I'm not doing anything. He can go in the chicken house during the winter. The door stays open um, to the from the outside in, and then um, if he survives, he gets under it a lot too. So if he so survives, in the winter they don't pick on him as much as the. Well, he won't be in the in with the chicken run. He's not going back in that. Part, but he can get in the chicken house. He can get inside house. the front of the house. The front of the house has got buckets of food and tools and stuff. Okay. And the back half of it is the uh, inside of the. Coop. Yeah, because I, I, I saw where he, you know he's been he's been previously damaged. Well, that's how he went blind. Yeah. Is they um they beat him up. He got an eye Here. infection. Here. Yeah, and you get the head. And then when he got better, and I put him back in there, they beat him up again. So. Yeah. Okay. You want to take over the camera and uh, I'll do the feet? Let's see. I just hold it and it goes. Yeah, you just have to you just have to hold it and, and, okay. and point. Point and shoot. I like those kind. 
because I wanted to be sure to get one that was. Uh, all the way, beginning to end. It sounded like it clucked. What? <laughs> it sounded like it clucked. Like, look. Oh, well, it, there's, yeah. There's there, no. was, there was clucking uh, earlier. All right. Get the bottom. Because first, especially these these new people. I mean, like that one lady, her well, husband. See what I did? Ah, you you nicked it. I nicked it. So we'll get that out and wash it. Real quick. Yeah, that's why you have to go high up uh, by the by the breastbone, right? Yeah. yeah that's the size that you're getting old. They're all gray looking. Well, they're they're good four or five years old, and I love the breed. It's an awesome breed. They're good and broody. They lay nice what, eggs. What are they? Which speckled Sussex. They're friendly. They're not frantic like a lot of chickens. They won't chase after you and peck not you all the usually. time. Uh -uh. And George, our blind rooster, is also speckled Sussex. And uh, I'll go ahead and get these. The you can pull them off if you want. Part and liver. Well, I have a free hand with a. If I can get the, this part off. It's harder to do one-handed. Yeah. I think about these, these are going to be full of fucking food. Well, that's all right. Okay. Well, I'll get a video of that too, right? Yeah, it's gross. But if we're going to, can you? Thunderstorm one. Oops. Yeah, here. Just a minute. I, get, I can't separate out that. Oh. Okay. There's Dave. Bad chicken. Okay. Ah, that's it. My phone hasn't went off, and usually if there's a thunderstorm warning. Maybe it's just a test. Ah. That's why my phone didn't go off. I bet it's a parental abduction. Here's the rest of that crop. On the other ones, it'll be nasty and full of grain because I fed them this morning so that they would be busy while we were doing all this. Right, because you went out there and, and fed them right as right as we started. So it's all full. I'm sure. Well, we and they're pigs too. Well, we so. get a we get a video of it. Yeah. You know, we have we have to get one get get every aspect. So these new people that are you know their husbands are freaking out. Uh, or you know, or the wife, or the wife is freaking out. They can see the whole process beginning to end, and since these weren't fed overnight, you know, in preparation, well, that first, at least gives it a realistic. When we first got together, we hadn't butchered chickens in a while. We killed a couple. We were still dating, and I gave one to my now in-laws. I had forgotten to cut the crop out. Oh my god! Well, we grabbed the wrong chicken and uh, out of the fr fridge and took it up there because I had we had killed three or four of them, I think. And uh, his mom was like, "Oh, that was great, but she forgot to take the crop out." <laughs> All right. So we let's get to, let's get to wa let's get to rinsing. You're yeah, dipping in there. Any stray hairs, uh, feathers, not hairs. Well, some of them are like hair. Chicken here. Been nice. It was all Cornish cross chickens, and they gave them to us for free. Well, well, we'll try those next year, but I don't. Well, you, you can't gripe. You can't gripe because they were free. So. Oh yeah. They could have been. Be. They could have been an older, you know, batch of chickens because these are very these young. Are young. I'm happy. I don't care. It's, it's free. It's free stew for yeah, the winter we time. Make soup and chicken and dumplings, and you don't need to have a whole lot of big chickens for that. Huh? Aren't you doing the last one? Do all these. Okay. They're all gonna get done. Doesn't matter what order. So that one's good. completely done.